I'm Shannon with Taste of Home, and today I'm going to show you how to make an apple pie from scratch. With fresh juicy apples, warm spices, and a tender flaky crust, apple pie is an all-American staple that will please just about everyone. Let's get started with our crust. Our ingredients are very simple. We have all-purpose flour, salt, cold cubed butter, and ice water. First thing, we're gonna add our flour and our salt to a large bowl and just mix those up a little bit. Next, we're gonna add our cold butter. It's important that the butter is cold throughout the whole process of making your crust so that it will create steam when it goes into the oven. The cold butter creates steam, which forms a pocket, which gives you that tender flaky crust. So our pastry blender here is going to cut the butter into the flour quickly without warming up the butter so that everything can stay cold. You just wanna work that until you end up with pea-sized pieces of butter. Take just a couple minutes. Once we have nice, small pieces of butter, you can see they're about the size of a pea. Then we are ready to start adding our water. So you don't wanna use the ice in your ice water, you just want the water to be really cold. So I'm just gonna go a tablespoon at a time. You wanna add your water slowly because if you add too much, you can end up with a gummy crust. It typically takes between a third and two thirds of a cup of water for this recipe. Getting close here, it's starting to stick together. I wanna feel the dough to see if it's coming together when I press it, and it is. So I'm gonna stop there. We'll dump this out onto the countertop and then bring it together before we wrap it up. I'm gonna divide it for my top and bottom crust and just bring it together enough that you can form a couple discs to wrap and chip. So I'm just bringing the dough together into two discs, one slightly larger than the other. The larger one will be for our bottom crust and the smaller one is for the top crust. Then we'll wrap these up and they'll chill for about an hour until that butter has a chance to get cold and firm up again. At this point, I also like to throw my pie plate into the fridge or freezer to pre-chill that. So when we put our rolled out dough into the plate, it will stay nice and cold. Our dough has had a chance to chill for about an hour now. The butter's gotten cold again and firmed up. And I'm gonna roll on a baking mat just so it makes it easier to transfer later. I'm just gonna lightly flour, use a little parchment. Working from the center, you just wanna roll your dough out to about 10 or 11 inches so that it's big enough to fit your pie plate. So I like to keep moving my dough so I can start in the center and push away from me. Then you also know if it's starting to stick. I can see it's sticking, so I'm just gonna sprinkle a little more flour. And I can tell from my guide that I'm getting close. I don't have much further to roll it out. If you get a crack in the side of your crust, just dip your finger in a little water and bring it back together. Now, I'm gonna use the mat to transfer my dough to the chilled pie plate. Adjust as needed, and then just press your dough into the sides. And if you end up with a crack, you can fix it the same way as before with just a little extra water. I like to push my dough down into the sides rather than pulling it because it's gonna be less likely to shrink. Once you've got it in there, this can go back in the fridge to stay cold while we prepare our filling. For this recipe, I'm gonna use Granny Smith apples because they're nice and tart. But you can use other tart and firm baking apples like a Crispin or a Pink Lady. If you're using a sweeter apple, maybe just cut back on the sugar in this recipe a little bit. 
For this recipe, I'm just gonna peel and slice my apples and use them raw in my filling. But if you wanted to make your filling ahead, you could cook it briefly on the stove top. For me, the easiest way to slice these apples is to first cut them into quarters, then lay a flat side down and hold your knife at an angle and just cut to remove the core. Then you have a nice flat side again to get your slices. For this recipe, we need about six or seven cups of sliced apples. I have all my apples peeled and sliced. Now I'm gonna toss them with a little bit of lemon juice. This is just gonna add some freshness and brightness to our filling. Next, I'm gonna combine our sugars, white sugar, and brown sugar, some flour, and our spices, cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger. I'm gonna mix all of that together so that our flour isn't lumpy in the filling and so our spices are evenly distributed. And this can go right into our apples. Now we're gonna add our prepared filling to the crust that we had chili. So we don't want these apples to sit around too long because they'll start to macerate in the sugar. So that's why we have our crust ready to go and we just add the filling once it's ready. I've topped my apples with just a little bit of butter and that's gonna add that nice gooiness and really good flavor to our filling. I'm rolling out my top crust the same way I did the bottom. It's just gonna be a little bit smaller. I have my top crust rolled out and I'm gonna transfer it using the parchment so that I have a little bit more control. Now we're just gonna flute and seal the edges. You can do this as simply or as intricate as you would like. If you have a spot where there's not enough dough, you can use a scrap and just pat it together. I have my edges sealed. Now I'm just gonna go through and do my fluting. Now we have to cut some vents in the top. This is to let steam escape from our filling so that it doesn't make our crust soggy. Lastly, the recipe I'm using calls for an egg wash and some coarse sugar. So I've just got a beaten egg white here that I'll lightly brush over the whole top. So the egg white and the sugar are gonna give us a lovely golden brown color and a crispy, crunchy top. If your pie is too warm at this point, your crust feels like it's starting to warm up, pop it in the freezer for about 10 minutes and then bake it. Now, I'm gonna bake this on the bottom most rack of my preheated oven at 375 degrees for about an hour. You wanna look for bubbly filling and a golden brown crust. Let your apple pie cool for a couple of hours before cutting into it. This way your filling has time to cool and set up and your crust can remain crispy. Serve with whipped cream or ice cream and enjoy.